Hey guys, Ivan here, and we are four weeks out of New York Pro 2021, and this is what Nick Walker and his condition, his legs, his hamstrings, and his glutes are looking like right now. So this New York Pro is gonna be basically about who brings the best conditioning, because we have a bunch of guys who are very close, right? We have Hassan Mustafa, we have Justin Rodriguez, we have Nick Walker, maybe Blessing of Wadibu is in that mix as well, I don't know, we haven't really seen him against the other pros, so it's gonna be about who brings the best conditioning, because these guys are big, they are all big and they're all pretty much complete, so it's gonna be about the conditioning, and one thing we don't have to worry about, so rest assured, Nick Walker is bringing it, so take a look at the hamstrings and the glutes, I mean, take a look at the vascularity on the glutes, who has that, who has that, and the size, Jeez, I mean, the size of those legs, especially the hamstrings. So I gotta say, Nick Walker has one of the best hamstrings in the business, for sure. And what is also interesting is that he's gonna be 10 pounds bigger than his last show, than Chicago Pro. And I don't think Justin Rodriguez made that kind of progress. So right now, he's about 270, 268, 269, as he said in the podcast at Fouad Abiyad, and he plans on being 258, 255. And last show he was 245. So he's gonna be probably over 10 pounds heavier than the last time. So imagine that. I mean, when we thought he can't be any bigger, he got bigger. He's short. He's 5 foot 7, guys. 5 foot 7, 260 on stage. That's a huge bodybuilder. That's like big Rami level, basically. And here you can see again his legs. They are shredded. They're shredded four weeks out. I don't know how much leaner can he actually get, but I'm sure he will get more. I mean, grainy. He's gonna be just grainy and huge. So that's gonna be a dangerous package that might very well win that New York Pro 2021. Should we, though, worry about his waistline and his uh, gut? Is there a gut or isn't there a gut? So this is a four weeks out. And you can see that his abs are prominent and he's kind of pulling something that resembles a vacuum. So he's pulling his uh, his abs, he's pulling his stomach in. Now, of course, I mean, most most top bodybuilders, most big bodybuilders aren't really able to pull a vacuum. And that's not something we are expecting from a big guy like this. Like, he's huge, as I said before. But uh, what we can expect and what we are hoping for is that he has a controllable midsection. We don't want to see it hanging. And here you can see that it looks pretty flat. I mean, it's from the front, but yeah, it's pretty flat. And those abs, hmm, they are too big. The, the ab muscles, I mean, his six-pack is literally taking his entire midsection. I mean, it's spreading from one side to another. There is literally, I mean, there, there is like 10% of the surface left for the intercostal muscles, if that's how you say it. I just translated it on Google Translate, but the muscles on the ribs. Like, you can barely even see them. So it's all abs. I don't know, I don't like the size of these abs, I would prefer them to be smaller, but it, it does look, I mean, it does look impressive when you see abs this, this developed, and also when the stomach is flat. It's not exactly the smallest waist, let's be honest, it's not a small waist. I mean, compare the size of his waist to his shoulder width, it's not much, much of a difference, right? The waist is pretty big, actually, his shoulders are not narrow, <laughs> no, he's really wide upstairs, but his waist is big, and he has that fridge look. So, not exactly ideal, but other than that, he doesn't really have many flaws. So, that's the only flaw, I mean, the structure, not ideal. Waist a little bit too big and the legs a little bit too short. So, other than that, everything is just perfect, spot on, conditioning great. I mean, look at the legs right now, they are dry, they are dry. And uh, everything else, just in check, except for that. One flaw. I'm not sure how much can it actually hurt his placing, we'll see that in about four short weeks, but as for now, he looks shredded to the bone, waist looks a little bit bigger, but the stomach is controlled, so not perfect bodybuilder, he's probably not gonna win the Mr. Olympia this year, but the New York Pro, very likely. I saw an interesting poster, somebody made this, it is uh, the Boogeyman versus the Mutant, Blessing of Wadibu versus Nick Walker, and this is a rivalry. Now, I'm not really thinking that it's gonna be our top two. It's probably not gonna be the top two. But, but, it is a rivalry. And it is creating this New York Pro special. It's creating drama. It's creating, um, uh, it's creating excitement, right? I mean, I am excited about the New York Pro. I haven't been excited for many shows like this. I mean, 
Uh, Chicago Pro, that's gonna happen. It's not that exciting. Indie Pro, not really. But this New York Pro this year, this is exciting because we have our rivalry. So I'm really happy it is happening and this poster is really awesome. And I can't wait to see these guys standing next to each other. I don't know who's gonna place where, but we'll see. I mean, it's gonna be an interesting comparison for sure. And hopefully these two guys are not gonna get into a fist fight on the stage. Well, maybe Blessing is not gonna have a fist fight with Nick, but with Mikhail Carrillo. <laughs> because these guys also went back and forth. So a few days ago, Mikhail Carrillo posted this comment. Baby bicep. So they argued a little bit. I'm sure it's all uh, fun and jokes. I don't think it is really serious. I don't think they're mad at each other. They're trying to make it seem like that so we can get more excited. Because maybe eventually Mikhail Carrillo transferred to YBB Pro League and that would be interesting. I would really love to see these two guys compared because they are kind of closer, if you ask me, than Blessing and Nick. So in response to Blessing, Mikhail Carrillo posts a video of himself flexing that bicep. And basically sending Blessing a Bodybo a message in the description of this, of this video. And he says, this is biceps, not your baby bicep. And he says it is 61 centimeters. Guys, that's 24 inches. So this guy has some huge arms. Uh, I don't know which bicep looks more impressive, really. I mean, Blessing also has great arms. Not, probably not as great as, my, as Michal's, but also pretty good arms. And especially in that video, they look very impressive. But... Michal's arms are 61 centimeters, and I'm pretty sure that's bigger than Blessing. And I would love to see these two guys compared as well. Maybe we will someday. By the way, guys, sorry if you hear some noise in the background. That's my chicken cooking in the kitchen and, and rice as well, because I'm, I'm in a hurry. I need to go and train some arms. Anyways, this is a photo of Charles Griffin right now. And I don't know which show he's gonna do. He didn't really announce anything, but he has been posting a lot of updates recently. And in this one, he looks really good. Like, he looks like he grew, especially those arms. So he was always blessed with crazy arms when he said he added an arm day. And this is the most arm training that he has ever done before. So he doesn't really need to improve the arms, but he wants to make them bigger than they actually are. And he's, he's doing that very well. But the problem is the legs. His legs were never his great body part. And they are, not, they are not looking that great right now. I mean, I don't know. He probably grew them. He probably tried really hard. And I'm sure he accomplished that. But I don't think his, arm, his legs are looking big. Not as big as his arms, for sure. Look at his side chest. It looks ridiculous. It looks great. Don't forget about this guy. He was really good last year. Actually, 2019 was it? Where he uh, did that Chicago Pro. And he almost won those shows. But... He didn't, he didn't. 2020, I don't think he competed, but 2021 is gonna be probably a good year for him. So let's not forget about Charles Griffin. And if you guys have any idea, or if you find out before me which show he is gonna do, let me know. Tell me about it on my Instagram. Just type even bodybuilding and if you catch something interesting, you can message me and I will mention it in my video if it is interesting enough. Well, this is something interesting. It is Seth Ferrosi, who is basically saying that he's not on gear anymore. Not really not on gear, but he's not blasting it. He's on TRT. He's on hor hormone replacement therapy. He's using only testosterone. And he has been training um, and, and eating with focus. He has been really focused. He's been dieting, cycling, carb cycling, actually. And this is what he looks like right now. And he does look very impressive. Now, this guy was a huge prospect in 212. He could have became Mr. Olympia in 212. I think so. I think so. But, I mean, look at his shape. And this is him right now on TRT, guys. On TRT. He's not even blasting. So he looks absolutely amazing right here. The shapes. The shapes are just great. I mean, very classic. Classic bodybuilding physique. So, I mean, yeah, he's big for classic physique, for sure, but he does have those classic lines. He does have aesthetics, symmetry, proportions, lines. And this is him right now. He's getting shredded, and he's not really using a lot of gear. So, imagine if he started blasting it right now. He said that he's not going to be competing again. He decided to stop that. But if he decided to, if he really wanted to push things, he could have become Mr. Olympia. I have no doubt about that. And finally, we have a Phil Heat update. So, he posted an arm, work out a part of it. And you can basically get the idea what he looks like right now. And just like before, ba back in 2019 and 2020, when we weren't sure if he was going to be competing again, but we were able to see some really good shots of him, some really good videos where he looked big. The same story is right now. He looks big. I mean, he if he retired, he wouldn't look this big. He wouldn't have these arms huge like this. He would downsize. And he didn't downsize. So that tells me something. That means that he's going to be competing again. I'm pretty sure about that.
I'm not sure which show. Uh, he didn't announce any kind of retirement. I mean, there was this story that seemed kind of like he's gonna uh, give up on something, but he never really announced official retirement, and I don't think that's Phil Heath's style. If he decides to retire, he'll just announce it, and he will not compete again. So here you can see him training his arms, and yeah, he the definition looks great. I mean, the maturity of his muscle is just on a really high level right now. Look at all those lines on those biceps. I mean, that, that muscle is alive. And also in bodybuilding years, he is very young. He's in his early 40s. So he's not even in his mid-40s. And Sean Roden won the Mr. Olympian when he was 45. So he can still compete age-wise. Uh, and he looks good. Like He doesn't really lack anything. He didn't lose his mass in any, any body part, really. Uh, the only problem is the bubble gut. But that last post of his, that story, uh, with him hitting the vacuum, <laughs> basically, I mean, sucking the stomach in, tells us that he is able to work on changing that. And if he fixes that, when looking like this, you can be sure he can actually win another Mr. Olympia. Yep, I think so. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below in the comment section. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.